Massachusetts is home to so many innovative companies doing some really cool things tonight. Mm -hmm. We wanted to bring you the story of Z Corporation. Yeah, it's a company with an idea that started out of MIT and has grown for the last tell decade. Tell everybody why you're holding that. Well, I'm going to tell you that this is one of their products right here. We're not pitching for the company. We're trying to tell and you so that it's that. really, really cool that these were printed out of a printer. That's right. Tonight, we take a look at what's happening in our own backyard. Corporation in Burlington is making printers and even though the way these print line by line and even the cartridges it uses may look like your printer at home, guaranteed yours doesn't do this. I can actually just grab what is a physical object now. It may seem like movie special effects, but what's happening here isn't science fiction. Z Corporation makes 3D printers, which make just about any object you'd like in scale, and it comes out of the machine in one piece in full working order. If you can describe your design in the computer, the machine will print it out and make it real. Starting out with a project that's either scanned in or created from scratch in a CAD design program. Vice President of Product Management Joe Titlow shows us how. Putting down a layer of powder that's just four thousandths of an inch thick. We print on that powder with a liquid binder solution that binds those powder particles together and creates a solid object. The machine prints line by line and starts building the object. It takes roughly an hour per inch to print and costs about three dollars per cubic inch. When the object comes out, the loose powder is blown off and it's ready to go again. Architects use the printers for early models of designs, and doctors could even use the printers to plan for complicated surgeries. But these printers are key in designing many everyday items. The core user, the core customer of ours, is anybody who designs something physical for their job. And so there's a lot that goes into the physical design of an object. And this could be anything from footwear to electronics to toys to aerospace, cars. You name it, anything physical ends up needing design. So it starts with designer sketch. Matt Dunbar is an advanced product engineer with New Balance in Lawrence, where they've been using Z Corporation printers to prototype early designs before they go to manufacturing. Every new sole that we make goes through this printer. Originally, when we got these 10 years ago, it was a kind of a, a slow process, but we immediately became aware of how valuable they are. So um, I think we're printing 120 pairs or sole units um, a month. So a sneaker starts with the designer's sketch and then gets designed and made into a blueprint in CAD. This is created into a 3D CAD model. So this is a virtual three-dimensional prototype really, but it's only on screen. The sole is then printed and the average design costs about $50 to print out, far less than the old way of having someone hand carve a model like this one. So these are hand carved and this would take a long, long turnaround time and they turned out to be expensive because there's a lot of uh, skilled man hours involved. The 3D prototypes help to make these shoes ready for customers much sooner. You're able to create that model and handle it. And it's so tangible. It's worth its weight in gold. So next time you place a call or grab a power tool or even play with some bubbles, realize you may be using a product that was designed in part using technology developed in your own backyard. Shannon Miller, Fox 25 News. So this wrench and this Fox 25 logo both printed out in Z Corporation's printers. Pretty cool stuff. You took that on uh, my, my um, duties away from me. Sorry. Why can't I have the wrench? Why does sure, the guy always have to have Go the wrench? Z Corporation makes six models of printers that range in cost. You're really a nice guy. He is. From fifteen to sixty thousand dollars and say that many of their earlier models, like the ones at New Balance, are still in circulation. Okay, you can have it back. Sorry. College students love them coming up.